Hello there, ladies and gents, and welcome back to a quick scum news update, basically. Uh, they've just dropped a new update uh, with a few new interesting things, but I'm also going to go over a couple of the older things that I missed on the last one as well. So I think it's, it's just going to be a quick video to go through, because one of the things that is really interesting involves... Uh, one of those things that we can't currently see, but we'll go and antagonize one. So from the last little hotfix slash update, <clears throat> we got the battery chargers, which I did mention in one of my single player series videos, but I never actually showcased it. So you've got three of them. You've got the small one, uh, which is craftable. You've got a medium one and a large one. You will need a generator for them to work, obviously. So turn that on. And then what you do, small one, stick the battery in there, large one, stick the car battery. Will the medium? No, the medium one won't take the car battery, will it? I guess it will. Just. Ooh, you can put one car battery in there, basically. So, yeah. And then you can charge them up. It only works with the smartphone batteries. It doesn't work with the little blue batteries, I don't think. Um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't work with the little blue batteries. So there the, this one was dropped today. This one actually looks quite cool, I have to say. I quite like this one. Looks better than that one. This one looks half decent. I prefer it to that one. But yeah, so they're the battery chargers. Then also today we got this, an improvised glass shiv, which is pretty cool, which is a craftable item. And all you need to craft it is... A glass bottle, a rag, and then something to smash it all together with, basically. And, yeah, it looks quite cool, I have to say. So you can now be a proper prisoner and shank someone, as it were. The next thing, in fact, two things that we'll get onto in just a second. I put that down. There we go. Get rid of that. Is we now have burn gel, because if you remember... When they released the new sentries, they have big ass flamethrowers on them, which have now been activated. So they work. You're gonna get burnt, you're gonna need gel. You've got one findable one, and you've also got one uh, craftable one, which requires, if I remember, three aloe vera, some kind of soda or water. And then again, something to smash it together with. So, yeah. We will take those. Because we will go and antagonize Mr. Boobar shortly. And then they got the big one. The next one. Which is... Vehicle health has now been turned on. So, all of us terrible drivers out there who think we're really safe... There we go. You saw the health bar go down. Vehicle damage is back on. But what they've also done is they've included the vehicle damage system into the modular system. So now, you take your car repair kit and wherever it's damaged, you just basically, you can remove everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. Remove the body. You can literally just have... Look at that. You can remove the entire panel. Door. Get rid of that. What else can we remove? Oh, alternator. No, I won't remove that because then it won't drive. Let's remove the trunk. You can literally just drive around in what effectively will be a beach buggy. Move the right side body. All comes off now and all replaceable after they've introduced the damage system. Can you? You can even remove the entire. Uh, okay, don't know where that went. But it went somewhere. You can still remove the seats, obviously, but I'm not going to do that. And you can just drive around 
like that if you want. Not very good because it's, you know, probably going to get shot quite a lot. Seeing as you've got little to no protection at all. But I want to remove the roof. Why can't I remove the roof? In the screenshot of the... Okay, back bumper. Might as well get rid of that as well. In the screenshot of the... Um, of the vehicle, that's the word I was looking for. It was a complete and utter convertible. I want to know why I can't take that off. Hmm. Maybe I need a jack? No, I don't think I need a jack. Do I? Whoops. Ah, oh, jack. I don't think I need a jack, do I? Uh, service. Yeah, no. See? That's all the removable stuff. So yeah, I did take it all off, basically. Apart from the wheels. In service. So yeah. If you want to drive around in something like that, you can. <clears throat> but like I said, you're kind of open to being shot from all angles, really. But it does look quite cool, I have to say. Right. Now for the even bigger one. Let's see if we can antagonize one of these things to turn on his flamethrower. Okay, well, as you can see, I've managed to take out one. There was another one over there. Two. I took out three sentries before a single one that there was just no flamethrower, so I couldn't get the flamethrower to... Oh, there he is. Let's see. Three. I have no idea, but he just wouldn't... He didn't even shoot grenades or anything at me, so I don't know what it was. But like I said, I wanted this to be a quick video, so... Yeah, I don't know. Let me know if you managed to get the flamethrower going. Because I certainly didn't. <clears throat> After I tried on three different sentries. Uh, and in the end, I ended up killing them. Basically. Because they didn't want to play ball for some reason. But there we go. That was just a quick little video regarding the new stuff that's come. I'm certainly looking forward to it. I have to be careful now driving the car in the single player series because, you know, uh -huh. damage and everything. Got to be careful of that. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Ring that little notification bell so you get notified when my videos go live. And as always, I'll catch you all on the next one.